Hi, I'm Valerie. Thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to have a day where we talk about English because it's just a fabulous subject, isn't it? The English language? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just weird and I'm a nerd, but anyway, I really do enjoy uh, English grammar and I enjoy teaching it and I've tried a lot of programs over the years uh, and I have finally found a program I really like and I really feel comfortable using. Uh, I still I still have things I like about other programs, don't get me wrong, there's good in all of them, but I really have been enjoying the Bob Jones University Press English 4 and English 12. I'm using uh, English, the Bob Jones English for my sons. My daughters are doing ACE because that's just really what works for them right now. I'll probably phase them into the Bob Jones English over the next year or so, but I'm really enjoying it. Thought I would make a quick video and share with you why I love it. So first of all, I'll start with my oldest. He is doing uh, the the senior high writing pro. It's a writing and grammar, and mostly as I look through it over the over the summer, it's a lot of writing and more like a grammar review. So that's just what he needs. He's been doing grammar his whole career, and of all the uh, English topics that he's weakest in would be writing. Writing is something you only get better at by doing it. And this program has lots of writing assignments. He's So far he's done a descriptive essay and now he's currently working on a comparison and contrast essay. And I mean every week he's either planning for a writing project or completing a writing project. And then scattered throughout the week are little snippets of English grammar review. It's really been perfect for his senior year because like I said he knows a lot of grammar, but he still needs to have those reminders. So first thing I really like about the Bob Jones system, they have really sturdy and expensive teacher's guides. Okay, hard back, flexible front cover, and very thick. The best part of the teacher's guides, though, is this right here. The teacher's toolkit, or as I affectionately call it, the teacher's treasure chest so much goodness on this CD. Um, there are rubrics to help grade your students writing. You print those off and it gives you like how many points each thing should be. There are checklists for the student. There are worksheets to help them plan. This is uh, one that he's doing for his comparison contrast essay. It's just a simple t-chart that he's working on. Um, but the best thing about the teacher's toolkit for this senior high book this right here. Now, I printed this out a while ago and I keep it in a binder, that's why it has this tab on it. But this is a pretest. This is the chapter four pretest uh, on phrases. This is great. He just did the pretest for chapter two because we're starting chapter two. We're in our third week of school. And the, it's not graded to go on his record. It is simply to see what does he need to really focus in on that chapter. If he's really, like for instance, the current chapter we're on is basically a review of all eight parts of speech. So if he really knows his nouns, if he knows nouns, great. Why spend a lot of time on nouns? What is he weakest in? Is, he, is it adjectives? Is it pronouns? All of this goes into then to be used for his writing work. So it's, it's just really been wonderful. I, I can't say enough good about it so far. I, I even went into this without really planning to do every lesson in this book because I did want to just kind of um, fit fit it to his needs. And these pretests are the perfect way to do that. It's almost like Bob Jones is saying, he's a senior. You know, just do what you got to do to get him polished up. He's He's gotten all the, the information, but he's got some gaps because we all do. What are his gaps right now? Let's try to fill those in. So it's a great program. We're really enjoying using it. To supplement it, we're doing British literature. Um, we're also doing, I'm having him read Drunken White's Elements of Style, which is an excellent, excellent book. And it's so well written. It's so funny and wonderful. I love it. And I didn't discover it till I was a grown woman. I think I was over 30 when I first read Drunken White's Elements of Style. So if you want a good uh, grammar book for your Kids, I mean, there are a lot out there. I think Eat, Shoots, and Leaves is a good, I haven't gotten to read that one, but I think it's a very good book on grammar. And there's another one, the title escapes me. But there are a lot of good books that are written in an engaging style for you to, for you to learn grammar better or for your kids in your homeschool. 
But Strunk and White has been around a long time, since the 70s, I believe, and it is a tried and true, excellent book. It's written by E.B. White, who wrote Charlotte's Web and lots of other great books. So it's very well done. So highly recommended. Now, the fourth grade book has been equally excellent. Um, the way this is set up here, so we have a, a lesson here on common noun, singular, and plural. And this page here is an explanation of what the student will be learning. Then down here they have a guided practice. And that means I, the teacher, will sit down beside my son or near and he works this and I watch as he does it. That way we're not spending our time erasing and just to see if he kind of understands it. We ask questions and we think out loud and it's just a great way to work together on, a, on something. But then the next page of the lesson is an independent practice. So here, he works by himself. I'm busy doing other things and I check in on him. Obviously he can ask questions if he has a question, but most, mostly he just works it on his own and then we work, we grade it together and we see how he does. Uh, I personally don't make these go towards his final grade, um, but you could do that. You could do like this page could be a quiz once a week or every day or however you wanted to do it and you could average it up and they, or maybe they could earn points for something, you know, by um, getting these correct. That way it kind of motivates them to pay attention and, and really get it because I, I don't know about your little boy, but my little boy can get so distracted and have so many things on his mind and focusing on what we're talking about in English is really difficult sometimes. So this, is, this has been a really good program, but the best part again is that book also has one of these teacher's toolkits, treasure chest, and um, included in it, they don't do pretests because your student's going to need to do it in fourth grade. He's going to need to do all the English. Uh, obviously, I mean, you, you can cut some out, but you know what I mean. Basically, he's going to need to have all the material, but there are review pages. So let's say you do a lesson on sentences and fragments, and he's really struggling with which is which. Um, or it could be any topic they're teaching. There will be, most likely, there's going to be an extra sheet you can print off for them to have extra practice and really nail the concept down before moving forward. And that is what I love about this program. I do not know if we will finish this entire book this year because I'm really not too concerned about it. I want him to build rock solid uh, each concept before we move forward. And if that means we spend three weeks on a chapter instead of two, that's fine with me because then when we finish the three weeks, we're going to know that material and we're going to have it down. But I have printed this out. This is a extra practice. It's a review sheet for the whole chapter. Now, they have that same sheet, a review lesson, okay, before they have the kid take the test. Um, about every two weeks they take a test. They give a a cumulative review. So it reviews the chapter and then uh, there's another, I'm sorry, there's a, a chapter review and then there's a cumulative review. So they review the chapter and then in the next review they re review all the chapters they've done so far. We haven't gotten to a cumulative review because we've only finished one chapter. But you could use that as the test or you could use that as a practice test and then give them the real test. We did buy the tests that come with this program. Or you can do what I did this last time and print out, so he did the chapter review and then I printed out another one. Same material but different questions. To see how he was doing because some kids get test anxiety and my son kind of is, he falls, he doesn't really get huge, ner really nervous about tests, but it, it can put a little pressure on it. So by giving him this opportunity to do a practice run at it uh, was really good. He, he did really well and which it pumped him up like, I can handle the test, no problem. It's really wonderful can't say enough good about it. I love English. I have tried a lot of programs over the years. I've tried Easy Grammar. I've tried, and you know, Easy Grammar has pros and cons. I really, I can't hate any program because I found something good in all of them. But I've tried Easy Grammar, ACE, Abeka was the original program I began with in my homeschooling. I even tried Bob Jones in 2009 when my oldest was in fifth grade, and I had a lot of little ones, and it just... I, I couldn't figure it out on my own. I was overwhelmed. I uh, picked a bad time of life to make major changes like I did then. So I had to, I ended up selling the material on eBay 
unfortunately, YouTube was not really a big thing back then. I mean, it was there, but it wasn't, there weren't a lot of homeschool moms posting videos. Before I tried the Bob Jones this time around, I was able to see video reviews. I was able to read a ton of reviews by moms who'd been using it. So I, I knew very well the pros and cons before I even um, ordered the material. And I even back in 2009, I went to a Bob Jones materials display and spoke to the representative and looked at all the, pro the books and whatever. I still did not learn as much at that meeting as I did by watching and reading what other moms were saying about the material. So I hope that my videos can pay it forward in a way and help other moms out there uh, to kind of know what they're getting into beforehand. I've certainly got a lot of bumps and bruises <laughs> to show for my efforts, that's for sure. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to tell, tell you today. Just talk about English. Um, what's your favorite? homeschooling curriculum uh, for English. So that's what I've been doing this week. Um, we're plodding along, getting used to our routine, and so far, so good. Of course, we're only three weeks in, so, you know, anything can happen. But anyway, thank you so much for visiting me today and for watching this video, even if you watched it, like, on triple time or whatever. Thank you. As of today, I have 63 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I told my kids maybe I'll get to 100 and they said we could have a party so I don't know maybe by December I can have a party <laughs> but if you haven't subscribed and you found this video helpful please subscribe uh, give me a like or a share uh, leave me a comment I'd love to hear from you thank you so much for watching again and I hope that your homeschooling journey is a happy one